Hello there. Welcome to San Telmo's Windows Systems Administration Series. This video will demonstrate how to install Windows 10 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. So our objective for today is to install Windows 10 on a VirtualBox virtualization software. So this will serve as one of the clients that we have on our network topology and that is for our systems administration series and also to rename windows 10 client operating system as santelmo c01 all right so for every software installation so you have to know the minimum requirements for the operating system so that it can function okay so freely and smooth sailing all right so for the processor at least one gig all right and this is our concern for the virtual box the ram is at least one gig for 32 bit and two gig for 64 bit okay so hard drive doesn't matter so 32 gig graphics card in display so what matters most here for our setup is of course the ram okay so you could try of course with the consideration of conserving the resource you could try one gig okay allocation okay so or two gig now let's do the installation so again let me fire up my virtual box here okay so we are going to create our next um, virtual machine okay so let's go ahead and click new okay so the name here is San Telmo Z zero one this will serve as our first client here okay so accept the default location still this is microsoft windows and this time we are going to install windows 10 64 bit okay so windows 10 64 bit and then next let's use the 2 gig ram okay click next create a virtual hard disk now click create Okay, so accept the VDI virtual disk image and click next. So go ahead and click next for dynamically allocated. All right, so just accept it, create. All right, so we have successfully created our first client, which is Santelmo C01. Okay, so let's start it. All right, so of course, the next thing to do is to locate for the operating system. So let's add it here. The operating system is Windows 10. So I have my Windows 10 there. And then, all right, where is that? Windows 10, choose. Okay, and then once you're done with loading the installer, so you could go ahead and click start. All right. So we are going to start with the installation of Windows 10. All right. So the first window here is of course the window setup. Okay, so language is still US. All right, so just click next here. So install now, all right. So setup is starting. So we're about to install Windows 10 as our first client operating system on the network. So we will be installing Windows 10 Pro. All right, click next. So I accept. Next, install Windows only. All right, so next.
all right so finishing up so we're almost done all right so after the installation of course the setup will restart your computer so you could go ahead and click restart now or you just have to wait for that time to expire and then the system will restart all right so our windows 10 has finished the installation so it will be doing further configuration so we'll just have to wait for it to finish all right so we can customize this or let's just use the express settings okay so click this express settings here so just waiting for a moment and we're about to start windows 10. all right so um, you can choose whether your work or school owns it or for example okay so let's have this my work owns it and then next okay all right so choose how you'll connect so join the local active directory domain and then click next right so this one is very important no who's going to use this pc okay so let me just try santelmo here santelmo will be the user all right local username so make it secure the password there's netman01 here make sure again it should be a strong password all right password hint secret Go ahead and click next okay so continuing with the configuration for the username you can use any username all right just supply it with a strong password okay so not now All right, so I guess we're done. All right, so getting this ready. So please don't turn off your PC. So Windows 10 is about to launch. All right, so we're done with the installation of Windows 10. Okay, so let's just configure this later on. So our objective here is just to install Windows 10 on our virtual box. Okay, so that's the first objective. So the second objective is we have to rename this computer. Let's see if it conforms already with the Santelmo C01 naming convention here. Now to check the name, you could go ahead and click on start, okay? and you could go to the system properties or on the control panel all right so for me so i have here san selmo the username all right so let's check the computer name so we have several ways of doing this so i just have to go ahead and click on the folder there and then look for this pc here all right right click on this pc and then properties so you will be redirected to the system property so you could also do it by uh, going to the control panel okay now i have here the system properties now okay 
So take a look at the computer name here. It uses the default name, which is desktop, and then a series of numbers and characters. So what we're going to do is to change this to the convention, which is Sanselmo C01. So Z01 stands for our first client or client 01. So to change the name, okay, to rename the computer or change its domain, you have to click this. So change here. Right, so the name here is Santelmo Z01. Right, for now, let's uh, leave it to the default work group name, so which is work group anyway. So we just have to change the name for now, okay? So click OK. All right, so after that, your computer will restart. All right, so it is now Santelmo Z01. So close this one, okay. So restart the computer now and then that's it. So we're done with installing Windows 10 and renaming it to Santelmo Z01. Alright. So that's it. Thank you for watching.